Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and today I'm going to be playing Torn Apart. Now, I found this game on, uh, Game Jolt, and, um, oh, okay, I guess we're getting into it right now. Uh, in the beginning, Omi created the world. Is this big glowing bolt light Omi? He wanted to fill the world with light and life. I'm just going to assume so, because, yeah. Omi poured his heart and soul into creating two guardians. Oru and Kami. I hope I'm saying these names correctly. <laughs> so, little fish orbiting each other are Oru and Kami. Oru and Kami were created to love each other. Such a lovely purpose in life. Um, as their love for each other grew, Omi shared it to the world. As time went by, Master Omi's light began to fade. Oh no! Without Omi, the barrier around the Guardians collapsed. No! Not the barrier. And the world was torn apart. Oh me, no! What the hell? Was that him? Is that... Is that Omi? What the... What the hell? <laughs> okay. And the barrier around the world was torn apart. Now what? Omi? Or Oru? Or Kami? Hello? We are trapped alone in the darkness! I assume we should probably go over to this gap, right? Hello? There we go. Oru? I was wondering what was going on. It was taking him in there. <laughs> so it's Oru that we're looking for, not Omi or Kami. Well, Omi's probably dead, but we're Kami then, I guess. Torn apart. It's a lovely, it's a nice little opening screen. Reminds me of like shadow puppets and stuff. Alright, so we are playing as Kami, I presume. No, 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 don't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it stopped responding for a minute there. Freaked me out. Okay. Ah. Okay, we can look around. Got a notebook over here. We can jump, we can interact with stuff. Okay. What's on the next page? Blueprints! Work in progress. Okay, so we collect blueprints. Nice. Alright. Oh, you're a person. Hello. Can't you read the sign? The bridge is closed due to bad weather. But I don't care about no sign. Uh, ah! Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can read the sign. I can read the sign. Jeez. Uh, Alright. So, shift to run. There's another person. Hello, other person. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took a paper cut on my knee. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Ah, oh, get it off! Get it off! Oh my god, there we go. Let's see. What are you harvesting over here? Some weather we're having, eh? That it? I guess I just have to jump to exit out of conversations. That works. Alright, so. Anybody know where, uh, Oru is? Hey you! Help me out, will ya? I was supposed to deliver this package, but I forgot. Wow, great job. And now it's getting dark, and I'm scared to walk through the woods. So send the other chick to do it? Okay. Okay. Could you deliver it for me? I forgot I have to jump to make things happen. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yay! Thanks a bunch! Just follow the road past our farm and you'll see the forest. The main part of the village is just at the end of the trail. Tell me, is Oru there as well? Okay, so I take it that this entire village right here is actually a farm. So, was that added to our blueprints? No. Our objectives? So, we're just going to go straight through this forest. This dark, big, spooky forest. Am I right? So creepy. I'm sure this chick couldn't walk through it all by herself. Look, you even got glowing mushrooms to light your way and stuff. Oh, and a fountain! Oh, what a lovely fountain. 
That is like hypnotizing me. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I want a fountain like that. Can you imagine if like everything outside just kind of had like random glows scattered about like with these mushrooms and random flowers and shit? Oh, it'd be absolutely beautiful. Are you who I'm delivering to the package? I wonder what's taking so long. For what? Oh, you have my package! Yay! Thanks so much. You're really help. You really helped me out. What's that? You're looking for a boy called Oru. I'm sorry, I don't know anyone like that ah, called that here. Maybe you could talk to the village mayor. Where is he? He usually makes sure to meet new people. Speaking of which, I'm sure he wants to meet you. Anyway, he lives as next to the market. Have fun. We are like a giant... We are so much taller than everyone else here. I wonder if it's just our hair, or if it's because we're like demigods or something. I don't know. Okay, so he's in the market, you say? I can jump, right? Alright, there we go. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. Is it Christmas time? Excuse me, has anybody seen the mayor? I really need to find the mayor to talk to. There's so many people here. You're a bit taller than anybody else. Are you the mayor? No, you're a storyteller. Come, come. What story would you like to hear? Don't be shy. Um. That's it. Sorry, I can't stay. We already know about the origins of the disaster. That was our entire opening screen, I think. The disaster was, uh, Omi dying. And the world being torn apart. Is that the... Is that the mayor? Are you the mayor? Is everybody here a woman? Are you the mayor? Yeah, you're the mayor. Ah, oh, hello there, Kami. Welcome to our little village. You know who I am. I have been hearing good things about you already. Yes? What What kind of things? I've been delivering packages. So you're looking for a way to get back to Oru, are you? Not surprising. I'm sure you're very worried about him. Well, I think I can help you out. But first, I'd like you to show me something. Uh, what do you want me to show you? I don't want to send you out on an adventure without knowing- oh without knowing you'll be safe. You might have already come across some, but in the woods near there, there's some special flowers. These flowers have magic in them. I want you to find three of them and collect what's inside of them. The magic? If you are who I think you are, you'll be able to make these flowers come to life. Once you've done this, I'll be happy to tell you how to start your journey to be reunited with Oru. Well, that's very kind of you. Oh, and one other thing. If you want to spend some time looking around the village, please feel free. There is a storyteller in the marketplace telling the stories of your birth. <laughs> yep. Okay, then. I'm just going to go get me some flowers. Will that satisfy you? If I get those flowers and rip the magic out of that fountain? So freaking neat. <gasps> okay, uh, flowers, flowers. You're a magic flower, I think. Oh. Okay, I got whatever was in that one. Okay, we need two more. Where are they? I see a bunch of glowing mushrooms. I don't know where the other flowers are. Flowers! Oh, flowers! I'm here to harvest your magic. And steal your life essence. Where are they? Come on, I know there's one. I'm gonna rip its soul out of it. Because this flower has soul. That's enough pages. Time to head back to the mirror. That was two. That was two pages. <laughs> But whatever. I guess that's fine. <laughs> oh, is it going to be in our book? Check our book. Nope. It is not. Where are the blueprints for, I wonder? <gasps> oh! I get it. We're going to be like an origami magic user or something. Because <laughs> like everything around here is like paper folded, you know, origami looking kind of stuff. It's really neat. So, like, are the pages that we're ripping from the flowers going to be made into, like, special moves and stuff? Okay, fantastic. You found some pages inside the flowers. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Okay. All right, I have to jump. The fact that you could make these flowers open proves to me that you really are who you say you are. <laughs> jump. Only a guardian could make something come to life like that. Now say apple. Okay, these pages can be used to create things. They are small fragments of the paper that was used to create our entire world. 
Now that you've found some pages, I'm confident that you can begin your journey. First of all, go speak to the fisherman down by the boathouse, yeah? Alright. Maybe he'll have some way of getting you across the lake, even in this horrid weather. Could it be a boat that he'll teach us how to origami fold? Alright, let's go find that lake boathouse. Boathouse. Boathouse, not lake house. <laughs> but seriously, like, what's... Uh, that has to be a bug, right? Like, it's not supposed to be how you, like, progress dialogue <laughs> by jumping. Oh, poor little Kami. She hit the ground a little too hard. Which she fell. Okay, I guess we're just going to jump some fences. Do do do. As we do, we really love jumping. Where's this boathouse? I demand its place. What? This looks like a restaurant. Are you the fisherman? You're just a sled dog owner. Oh, hello. Aren't you a pretty one? Do you like my dog? Oh, do you like dogs? You do. Me too. Wow, we. That's so fascinating. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a park. Nice little park too. Should probably rip out some more of those flowers. Okay. Let's see. Boathouse. There it is! I think so. Looks like a boathouse. It has water next to it. Yes! Hello, fisherman lady. How are you today? Well, uh, oh, well, hello there. Tell me, is it right? Heard people yammering on about you. So, what is it you want, then? I want to jump so much. <laughs> you want to borrow a boat? Aha! Have you not seen the water? It's frozen solid! Ain't no boats going anywhere until this weather calms down. I'm afraid, Missy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate to see a lady looking so glum. Tell you what. What? I'm jumping in anticipation. If you go find the owner of the sled, she might be able to help you out. Her dogs have no problem running over the ice. Oh, great. I have to talk to the freaking sled owner again. You'll find her house back near the marketplace. I, I know where it is. I know where it is. Uh, just hang right when you get there and you should spot it. Got loads of kennels lying about, so you can't miss it. Good luck. <laughs> Onward to the sled dog owner. Freaking telling us how pretty we are and stuff. We already got them wrapped around our pinky finger. Alright. There you are, sled dog owner. Hello! What can I do you for? Ah, uh, the fisherman sent you, really. He must be in a good mood today to be feeling helpful for a change. Oh, they have a rivalry. Such intrigue. Um, so, what's the emergency? Oh, I see, really. Mm, oh my, that's terrible. Well, I really would love to help you, Kami. But I'm afraid I did all. All my sleds are either out on deliveries or too damaged to be used. Well, I'm sure I can fold one out of all this paper I have. Oh no, I skipped dialogue. <laughs> Used to be able to, sure, but since the disaster, no one's been able to do much of anything, it seems. I'm, I'm guessing... I was... I don't know. I don't know what that previous line of dialogue was. I'm sorry, I skipped it. I was just so excited about jumping. Hmm. You still want to try? Okay, if you're so desperate, go ahead. You'll find one of my damaged leads back near the fisherman on the edge of the lake. Really? <laughs> don't see what you can do to fix it up, though. Let's go get our freaking... <laughs> we were just over there. Like, we were just over there. Oh no! I fell into the ice! The water is freezing. I wouldn't want to fall in there. Okay. It would have been really stupid if I could just walk across. What is this? Oh, is this a sled? Okay, left click to fold. I'm folding! No? Oh, there we go. Gotta highlight it. Eh. I fold that so good. Okay, did I do it right? I can't highlight anything else. Did I already screw it up? What the hell? Oh my god. Press... What the... Okay, there we go. There's another one. Did we do it right? There we go. I guess. That was weird. It wasn't like highlighting anything. I was just kind of... Italy Village. Let's get our butts out of... 
<laughs> we're not even all the way on. I think we're going to fall off. Weehoo! Woo! <laughs> Uru! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I guess I'll make this into, like, short episodes, because we're at 15 minutes, it doesn't seem. Yeah, it's smart to go for much longer than that. Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh my god. Is it going to be like a series? Is that what it is? Or is it just not complete yet? Because I found out in Game Jolt, you know, some it was marked as complete, I think. Or maybe it was in progress. I don't remember. But it was certainly... <laughs> it's a little silly, but it's definitely an interesting concept, I think. I really... I, sh I should really read more about these games before I pick them up off that site, but... <laughs> okay, so that was torn apart, I think. Or at least part of it so far. We did a lot of jumping, we collected some paper to fold, and we talked to a bunch of people who sent us one direction, and then sent us another direction, and then sent us one direction. Oh, <laughs> uh, but no, it's a cool concept so far, I think. I like how, you know, the design of everything looks. I think everything looks really beautiful. Um... I can't really complain too much about the, you know, villager designs. They were all, like, the same, you know, stock woman. But, I mean, they're villagers, they're background people. We don't care about them. We care about Kami and Oru and them reuniting. But, yeah, it's definitely a little silly. It's a little silly, it's very beautiful, and I think it's a great concept. I want to see them, like, expand more on, you know, the folding aspect. Maybe quick time it a bit more. Because, I don't know, that clicking was going really slow. But yeah, really cool, cute little interesting game, and I hope to see more from it in the future. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you for watching. That was Torn Apart. <laughs>